Knowing the wrong controller, but that's fine as long as the controller works, right? It should be fine. Alright, so... That button's this button, right? Yeah. So that's how you bring up this wheel. Survivor's character information. I like that thing. Okay. It's working. <coughs> 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 Sorry for the coughing. Here you see your health status. Scratches, bite, bites, bleeding, broken lip. All listed for your convenience. Also here that you can bandage and treat wounds. <coughs> <coughs> So yeah, just bring that up whenever you're damaged or hurt or whatever. Skill panel. Oh. So there's different panels there. There's the health, skills, oh. protection, temperature. <coughs> Cycle through. Skills. Okay. Really will be such a shame to lose you. This panel shows your points in various different survival schools. In game activities build up skill points that level you up in each discipline. Learning speeds can be increased by reading books, watching certain TV shows. Ultimately, your brain will become cold, dead sludge, but in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? <laughs> okay, whatever you say. Let me take off those training wheels, lady. Well, it does the lady, okay. Close so, the character panel by pressing B when the aspect of survivor life. It's looking at stuff, woo. Oh, okay. Only seeing the direction you're facing. Well, I guess that makes sense. If an unexpected death can come from behind, whether from the dead host or your fellow man. Blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Um, okay. Walk and move. Adjacent room. Definitely safe. Okay, so, yeah, that makes sense. You look around with this one. And you walk with this one. That makes total sense. I can... Wait. I can look with this one, but then walking makes me look anyway. Okay. Yeah, I can look by walking, or just look without walking. Dan? Okay. Uh, let's strafe. Told you it was safe, now let's strafe. Holding R will let you look around while walking. It'll help you line up attacks and watch your back. Strafe toward the piano by holding R. Strafe? This? Is this how you strafe? Dead person alert, you're going to have to do some looting if you want to survive an attack, head back to the marked counter kitchen. So I don't have to do that stupid thing anymore. So if I, I can look, while I'm looking with this, then I can strafe. 
Okay. So wherever I'm looking and then... Ah, that's cool, I guess. Be like, over there. Yeah, alright, you straight backwards, makes sense. Backing up. Alright. Get the feel of the controls. What's in here? What do I do? Open your inventory and the looting panel. Right. Those blinking containers on the far right of the looting panel. They are all containers you can loot nearby. Cycle through with that button. What? A dead mouse? Pick it up. Why do I want it? Why do I want to pick it up? Like, to pick it up, to press it, but I don't want to pick it up though. Wait, so that's not that button, that's this button. The empty bottle too. So yeah, that, that fucks with me. That X is not X for me because... I don't know, maybe I can fix that somewhere. To show the right controller buttons. Anyway. Those moodles to the right? What the fuck is a moodle? Like someone's got a rumbly tum rumbly tummy. Time to eat. What? Moodle? Oh, moodles to the right. Oh, okay, now I see. This is the moodle. Right? I was like, what the fuck is a moodle? This is a Moodle. Okay, I'm learning. Uh, what's in my inventory? That dead mouse. I'm not gonna eat the dead mouse, am I? I'm totally gonna eat the dead mouse. Perfect. Press A on the dead mouse in your inventory to see interaction options. Select eat, then all, and press it again to eat the dead mouse. Why? It, it, it actually says dangerous, uncooked. Why am I eating this? It is just a tutorial, but I guess, yeah, it's just weird. Select all. Eat, eat, wait. Ew. It's just straight eating that dead rat. That's better, apart from the nausea. Yeah, that was, uh, delicious. Better fill up your bottle before the water supply is cut off. Uh, near world item will bring up interaction options. So, I gotta go run up and press box. Yeah, fill empty bottle. Okay, I see. The, wait. I keep forgetting I have a fucking cursor, so wait, you just click the... okay. So, with the, with the cursor, yeah, but hold on. Uh, automatically drink water. Drink from water that's carried in your main inventory. See what's in the other cupboards. Get that flashy container. Okay, but can I do this water thing again? Not gonna let me? Okay, but like, I want to see if it's it probably like, if there's multiple options, I could scroll through them with, what the fuck is this? I could probably scroll through the options, but there's, since there's only one option, just fill the, fill the water bottle. It, if I would have pushed the button again, it probably would have just filled it. I don't know. I'll try that. But see, open my loot panel, the nearby containers by walking close to them. Within reach can be opened. So, within reach means highlighted in white. Is that within reach? Like over here? Like using combination mouse and keyboard and controller here. Container within reach. Okay. Enough, there's a weapon in 
Weapon hidden for you nearby. Loot the surrounding containers to find a weapon. I really hope that wasn't a power flicker. I think it was. But it was a power flicker that wasn't a flicker. Do I still have everything? Everything's good? Still alive? Everything's good. I edited, edited a bunch of shit out of <coughs> Surrounding containers to find a weapon. Well, it's near enough a weapon. Frying pan. Select equip primary so you can use it on all the dead folk you meet. So, I can scroll through, scroll over, click it. Quit. Yeah, so all I had to do, since there was only one option, I just had to push the button again. Oh my, is it getting hot in here? Let's pop open a window. Get some fresh air while your lungs are still inflated. Walk to the flashing window behind you. Okay. So, let me guess. Yeah, interact with stuff. A zombie in a hat, what? Let's get out there. Oh, it's outside. Interact with objects in front of you, most notably doors and windows. But that's the door and window opening button. This one. No? Oh, I just wasn't close enough. No, it's this button. I might need to fix that. Come out the window and beat that corpse to death. Uh, back to death. Back through the window. He hasn't seen us. That in any direction? Ready? Okay, yeah, ready for the attack. And wait, what? Oh yeah, and strafe, obviously. And attack with the trigger. Yeah. Got him. Take that, mom. Wait, what? Could have also. I could also have pressed a uh, left trigger to shove her over, but right now we need to go for the head. Line yourself up using bash her head with the trigger. Okay, so I gotta line myself up. And. Wait. Hold on. Line myself up and bash her. Eeeh! The frying pan broke. Your mother's skull was really thick. What the fuck? This is fucked up, man. Borrow the hunting knife we planted in her back earlier. Equip it as a primary weapon. Open the loot panel. Like the hunting knife and press the button to show equip options. Jeez Louise! Like, for real? So, how do I know I'm... Okay, I can't see it. I, I... This fucking truck is in the way. Am I... Oh, wait. I see it in the bottom corner now. I'm, I'm dumb. I now, I now I see it. I'm... Inventory? Loot. Inventory? Loot. In the bottom left corner. Inventory. Loot. Okay. Now I'm paying attention. Kind of. So, uh, yes, this. Uh, wait, what? I oh, was selecting. Wait, what? I did push the. Bo oh, I, I was selecting the formal shirt. I didn't. Okay. I, I didn't see where I was selecting. Hunting knife. Equip. Hear that? There's more. Move up the gate. There's all fence. Uh, the gate when you're close. Open. That was easy. It's like real combat now. Or real training or something. Oh, wait. Why can't I move? Oh. Because there's still something telling me to do something. Vegetative shambler in the vegetable garden? 
But he's got enough brain function to see you. If you sneak, you'll make less noise. You'll be less visible. Oh, we get the crouch now. Yeah. Uh, crouch. Like you're invisible. I mean, we've maxed out your skills here, but it is impressive. If you sneak close to the wall, fence, or vehicle, you'll crouch lower and reduce your visibility even more. Sneak around the corner to the low gate in the fence. Sneaky sneaky! Am I gonna go stab this zombie? And it's just like, stay crouched and open the gate. Oh, so silent and so deadly. Like a doomed ninja. Oh yeah. This is some special forces stuff right here. Strafe close behind him with a knife. Your arm will raise to show you're in place for a stealth attack. Hmm. Okay. Strafe with the, that stuff. Yeah, I know. And then that attack when directly behind. Get nice and close. Okay. Stay. Do I we gotta stay crouched, right? Not crouched anymore. But, oh, doesn't want me to be crouched. Wait, what the hell? Or I just can't crouch there? Or is this crouching? Don't mind me. I'm dumb. Derp 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 derp. All right, just get behind them. I have to do this though. I gotta do the strafing thing. Get behind them. See, the knife is ready. The knife is ready. Buddy, hand is up. Is that what that means? Oh, oh shit! There we go. Second time's a charm. You did it. No more daddy issues. Oh shit! Now take his bag and put it on. Stand over the corpse. Press the button to loot. Yep, and then put on a large backpack. Okay, this is like I'm. I'm seeing the pattern. Loot. Use the backpack if you could get off of my face. Wait. A large backpack. Where's the large backpack? Oh, there it is. Large backpack. This, wait. This, this. I wasn't on it again. I was on the briefs. Derpity derp. I figure it out eventually. I wanted this large backpack for years, and now it's yours. Let's see what's inside. Cycle through your equipped bags. Wait. Oh. What the fuck? There's a shotgun in there. A loaded shotgun and some bandages. Always do our best for you. Equip it uh, in both hands. Lock your inventory and press uh, the button on the shotgun. Go your interaction options. Party in the inventory. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. What? Yeah, my inventory is over on that side. Yeah. Keep it in both hands. You just be remembering what button I gotta push. Holy. Window in Dad's shed just broke right on time. Vault the fence and let's check it out. Running at the fence will make you jump over it automatically. Run using uh, right trigger and... What? Oh wait. But without doing this... Um, can I move? It wants me to hold the hold the trigger and then go. It didn't want me to move until I was holding the trigger. Dad was a prepper, but he didn't prepare you. Uh, prepare for you, did he? Let's spray the shed. Ignore the glass shards. Climb to the broken window by standing next to it and pressing the button. Okay, press the button. Look, this button. Oh no, your hands are bleeding. The broken glass in the window shredded them. Who saw that coming? Open the health panel. Uh, 
heart icon. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, so I don't have to go into my backpack to grab the bandage or just go in here and it's just like, hey, since I already have one, I can use it. Go so, treatment and you bandage. Bandage was already in my hand. Oh, the shotgun was in my hand. Okay, never mind. Don't mind me, I'm just a little dumb. Um Curtains stop you seeing it, but they also stop the horde seeing in. Open the curtain, it's probably safe. Interact with the curtain. Ah. Huh? Oh, that's because it's the wrong button. Open curtains. Why isn't it letting me do it with that? Why is it making me click it? Two of them. Three if you count your sister on the floor there. There is some improved protection from their nails and teeth. Weaker clothing and headwear help protect from their bites and scratches. Put on what you think is uh, best for a final encounter. Once you're ready, head to the door. Final tutorial encounter? Hype? Final encounter for tutorial. Uh, this button. So I just... So I just gotta like... Oh. Thicker stuff, eh? Military boots. Military camel pants. Uh, and a baseball cap. But did visor backwards? Backwards hat. Yeah, that's uh, that's it, right? I shouldn't need anything else. Wait, was there a military shirt? Did I did I grab a military shirt? Do this. Yeah. All right, I think I'm good. Now I gotta go out this door. But yeah. Remember, you can sneak and make less noise. Okay, fine. Dun dun. Dun dun. If you have high enough skills and aren't exhausted, then tall fences can be climbed. You have those skills, okay? Climb over the wire fence. So athletic. Time to, time to make some noise. Ready the shotgun. Aim at the rotting dead men by holding... Here they come, an outline, okay, oh shit. And... Did I just... no. Did I kill them? They're all dead. There, so sad. Never mind, you'll, soon you'll all be back together. Every zombie in the forest heard the shotgun and they're coming for you. Oh. Climb back over the wire fence and escape. Shit. Shit, bro. You're getting closer. You know how to run, but... Here's how to sprint. Sprint up to the marker by the outhouse. Oh right, I forgot. Um, like this. Oh wait, toggle sprint? Hold on a sec. Sprint. Jog. Jog. Sprint. I see it in the bottom right. I'm jogging. I'm sprinting. Jogging. I'm sprinting. Don't know why there has to be a difference. Last thing, never shout. Remember your conditioning. The code word is spiffo. Excellent. Die well. What? Am I gonna die? Oh, this is great. Oh, hey guys. This isn't good. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. 
can't get the, over the fence. Ah, fuck you, you. Fuck you, oh shit. I'm dead. I survived for 25 minutes. That's because I was taking forever to fucking figure shit out. That's why it took me so long. Jeez, the game's just gonna shame me like that? And at the end there, I forgot how to run. I gotta get used to these controls. It was like, here, this is how you sprint. And I'm like, wait, how do I sprint again? Well, that tutorial was fun. 